After weeks of assembling each dev trait into full rosters and seeing which one of them could win the Lombardi, we are finally ready to see which one reigns supreme. And before you think it's a foregone conclusion that the X Factor team is going to obliterate the competition, may I remind you, matter of fact, I'm not going to remind you, you know, I'm just going to leave a link to all of the five other episodes we did leading up to this tournament in the description so you can check it out yourself. Actually, I'm going to give you spoilers in about five seconds, so if you haven't seen those yet, I advise you you click off go watch come back the x-factor team lost in the divisional round same with the star team that was the first one we did and then we did a normal team they also lost in divisional round the superstars were the first team to win the super bowl or at least make it past the divisional round and then believe it or not the hidden dev team a late addition to the tournament they won the super bowl a team of rookies it was unbelievable so they are definitely sleepers but first they have a playing game since we have five teams and only four spots two of them have to fight for that last spot it's the hidden devs versus the normal devs and while they are only an 81 overall this team doesn't have many weaknesses speaking of weaknesses we got to talk about a product that has none magic spoon once again thank you so much for sponsoring today's video right off the bat let's read some of the health benefits man you have zero grams of sugar 13 to 14 grams of protein and only four net grams of carbs in each serving only 140 calories per serving they're also keto friendly gluten free grain free soy free and low carb now the best part about this is now they added cereal bars so if you're someone that likes eating on the go and you're not the biggest fan of milk this is perfect for you. It's similar in nutritional value to a protein bar, just a hundred times more fun and enjoyable. You have flavors like cookies and cream, cocoa, and peanut butter. Every bar has 10 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, and only four grams of net carbs. They're available at magicspoon.com starting February 24th until supplies last so go get yours today they've blessed me with a couple of flavors so we're gonna go ahead and try it real quick you know i love me some cookies and cream that's just my dream you feel me i'm rhyming mm. this is like i'm i'm finishing this box within the week so if you want to get yourself some of these delicious cereal bars use my code ck for five dollars off your order and they're so confident in their product it's back with a 100 percent happiness guarantee so if you don't like it they will refund your money no questions asked there's no reason why you shouldn't at least get a little trial batch just to see if you love it also for my canadian and british fans if there are any magic spoon is now shipping to canada and the uk anywho here's a broader look of the team man you can see they're all hidden dev obviously you know what i'm saying parsons leading away on defense they're going to rely on him to generate a lot of pressure whatever they did to win the super bowl we need more of it Hi. their opponent the normal dev team is only two overalls higher and a lot older okay half of these dudes are close to retirement Ooh. always balling a b their best receiver they're going to rely on him a lot on the defensive end i don't know how hendrickson is is freaking normal that's weird dude had a great season he's young too or relatively young team just went to the super bowl and, and ea just will not bless him same with robert quinn he was near the top of the league in sags but yeah this team has some guys that used to be elite and now are just you know pretty average so we'll see how they do halfway through this one just about and the normal team is up 10 need the hidden devs to fight man I, hey we're counting on you show that the super bowl was not a fluke 17 to 20 that's how you fight back down only three at the start of fourth matty ice with the handoff keep melvin gordon in check however his team is in the red zone man they're looking to add to their lead another handoff why not keep on running the ball hidden devs do have that x factor on the d line though micah parsons gonna need to make a play right here and he cannot gordon gets another first down first pass that we've seen on the drive and it's incomplete great defense third down and nine however they got a pass it's gonna be a sack the safety trayvon get into the quarterback and they're gonna force him to take the three lawrence and company have plenty of time okay well over two minutes left in this game to get the lead they can do it with a touchdown oh. that right there was almost intercepted he has to be careful yeah i was gonna say you kind of have to go for it i, I know the defense had a nice stop on the last drive but it is do or die you need to keep the chains moving lawrence going for it all ginormous play 
and there's a flag even though it's caught out of bounds they could still have life depending on what the call is looks like pass interference on the defense to ron johnson i just i can't believe they make that call in that big of a moment maybe we go back and, and see if there's a replay and maybe look at it later but wow what a play right there by the d-line hendrickson i told you he should not be on the team but luckily for the normal dev team he is on the team and he makes a big play almost intercepted i don't know why he didn't go for the pick right there both teams making costly mistakes fourth and goal at the eight last chance for the hidden dev team maybe not but still what a bullet by lawrence the hidden dev team takes the lead matty ice actually holds the record for the most game winning drives by active quarterbacks so i'm not counting them out this dude could definitely definitely make it happen that's out of bounds though great defense by the cornerback great awareness by the young rookie to push that wide receiver out of bounds man what a play right there either way third and seven what a bullet ty hilton with the first down this is how we wanted this tournament to start we want every game to be just like this matty ice finding his running back but the clock's gonna continue to move they only have two timeouts left down one they only need a field goal keep that in mind so what 30 40 more yards and he's going for it all bad decision intercept by the hidden dev team and that's all she wrote javon holland with the game ceiling interception that was matt ryan's really only blemish like he only had six incompletions on the day trevor lawrence didn't turn the ball over that's all you can ask for a young quarterback to do man Najee harris 5.6 yards per carry a touchdown he did his thing on the ground ty was killing us so i get why he went to him just not in double coverage man unless your name's smitty most likely not coming down with the two touchdowns for devon Hey, man. And the underdog story continues. The hidden Dev team is now going to face off against the X Factors in the next round. But first, let's look at the other side of the bracket. The superstars led by Justin Herbert. Now, he did have to poach Trevor Lawrence from them, but does it really matter? He wasn't even starting, okay? Herbo, along with just a star-studded lineup. Remember, this is the only other team that won the Super Bowl. They are stacked from top to bottom. Half of these guys should be X Factor, like Debo, Mandrew couple of guys on defense should low-key be x-factor but maybe they can use that as uh you know motivation to go out and, and win this whole tournament in flying colors could you imagine they blow out everybody there are 97 overall 99 offense good luck the star dev team are also sleepers like you cannot overlook joe Burr and company they have guys that low-key should have abilities like you can't tell me burrow jones even lockett I've, I've been saying lockett deserves abilities odell's like their fifth wide receiver they have so much depth use check used to have abilities now he's down to star crosby has been a menace for years justin simmons has like five safeties below him and overall that have abilities somehow he doesn't so they have a chip on their shoulder as well this is gonna be a great matchup superstar devs have a nice little six point lead at halftime and they're gonna add to it 14th oh my it's getting bad okay star devs putting up a fight you know hanging on by a thread they're down 14 and the superstar devs have the football herbo on a play action gonna find Najee out the backfield they gotta hold herbert in this offense to a three and now they hit him as he throws it great blitz right there pretty solid field position great protection burrow bottom of the screen gonna find lock he's gonna get the first down and then some hold on to that ball Bates went for the strip but somehow Lockett held on and they're across midfield six for 67 Lockett has been underrated his entire career in my opinion that's a great breakup a little risky I know what he's trying to do he's trying to go to it to the hot hand but his quarterbacks are they're playing with fire man first it was Matt Ryan last game Burrow gets that one batted down to third down and 10 Hawkinson has five for 73 so he's doing his thing you got to go to either him or Lockett right here ginormous play he can't even get rid of it Jonathan Allen with the sack last chance for the star dev team they don't get this i don't see how they win this game burrow gonna throw it and it's incomplete however there's a flag wow we've seen some crazy last second penalties in this tournament already another pass interference marlon humphrey this time but once again they need a touchdown not just three burrow gonna get rid of it oh what a play that might have been humphrey again <laughs> the guy that just committed the penalty makes an even bigger play on the first and 10 because they could have been inside the 10 15 i don't know where he was but that would have got him a nice chunk and they get a chunk anyways odell gets them inside the 15 i was wondering where that man was only his first catch of the game you have to go to your playmakers more than that i'm pretty sure he's their slot guy if i'm not mistaken either way first and 10 over the middle they're down inside the one now he's got to punch it in right here right now i don't know what kind of 
of formation that is. You got that guy, that D lineman all the way back there. JJ Watt just a little too far, and they waltz in for the easy touchdown. Now, I'm not necessarily rooting for the Star Devs. I just want to see as thrilling a finish as possible, okay? So if that means them getting a three and out, driving down the field, and then we get a game winning drive, then so be it. Here it is. All you can ask for is a chance. Joe Burr has ice in his veins. He's about to prove it. Nice start. Brandon Cooks, another guy who's extremely underrated. With only his second catch of the game, somehow Hawkinson getting the first. Here comes the no huddle. One timeout left. Burrow going to climb the pocket, but Vita Vey. It could be Vea. I, I don't know which one it is exactly, but he's one of the best, if not the best, D tackle in the league right now. Somehow he's only superstar, and he's bowling. So is that man who made the tackle to keep that wide receiver in bounds. Third down and nine. Burrow going for it all. It's incomplete. If they don't convert this first down, the game is over, and the superstar devs are moving on. Burrow, bottom of the screen again. This time is intercepted. Marlon Humphrey, who committed that egregious flag earlier in the fourth quarter, comes up with the game ceiling interception. Herbert outplayed Burrow, and it wasn't honestly that close. Okay, zero touchdowns, two interceptions. Three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Yeah, one quarterback just played so much better. I'm surprised it was even that close, to be honest. But Aaron Jones was doing his thing on the ground. Three touchdowns. The run game kept them in it, and they had a chance at the end. That's all you can really ask for, just to have a chance, and that's exactly what happened. However, superstars were just a little bit too OP, and they're headed to the finals. Back to the other side of the bracket. Now, keep in mind, this X-Factor team is the lowest overall X-Factors in the game. Not the highest. That's why you don't see guys like Mahomes. You don't see the Tyreek Hills. No. We are trying to find out if all these guys deserve X-Factor. Like, if you deserve it, you should win this tournament running away. That's what adds a little element of suspense. Now, their offensive line, since there are no X-Factor O-linemen, they're all normal dev, but they're pretty high overall normal dev guys. We had to take away Kyle Pitts from him because he's on the hidden dev team and that's who they're playing against, but they still have Waller. Defense is nothing but X-Factors though, okay? No normals to speak of on this side of things. There are 92 overall. Heavy favorites going into this, man. Ramsey, Tredavious, Jair. We still have the top four or five cornerbacks in the game because those were the only ones that were X-Factors. So they should win this one, but I'm not counting out the hidden dev team. The X-Factor team is down four points to the hidden devs heading into the fourth. I cannot believe my eyes. And they're, they're going to add either what an extra point or, or three. It's actually going to be a field goal. So now they have a seven point lead. Kyler, come on, my guy. Uh, there's already rumblings that, you know, you don't do too well in the playoffs or big games. You got to turn that narrative around. Not the best numbers. What is that? 50% completion percentage, 166 yards, one interception, just not doing too hot. However, I'm going to, you know, play devil's advocate. They've only run the ball 12 times. They've had like, what, 50 plays? Like, you got to run the ball more than that. Nice job keeping the chains moving right there, but you have to have a balanced attack. I don't care how talented you are. It's going to be tough if your quarterback is throwing that much. And it's not like they were down a lot. You know, it's been a close game. So it really doesn't make too much sense to me. Kyler trying to take off right there and that's going nowhere. Third down and 10. The X Factor team is on the brink of losing their first game. Will Kyler let it happen? Interception. What a play. Patrick Sertain with that beautiful tiptoe INT on the sidelines to get the ball back for his team, man. And now the hidden dev team can just shoot clock, get at least three. And this W is right there for the taking. Why are they coming out in the empty backfield? Why not run the ball? You know what? They're winning. Let me not question no. their game plan. No. Look at that man shaking off two tacklers. What the hell is going on? This team wants it. You can tell ETN doing it in the backfield, out the backfield. That's why the Jaguars draft him. I cannot wait to see that man healthy. He's going to be a star for a very long time. Lawrence throwing bullets. This is unbelievable. You know what? I shouldn't even be shocked uh, because we've already seen this team go all the way and win. It's time we just stop disrespecting them. Put respect on their name. They can win this whole thing and I would not be surprised. What is this man's nickname? Please let me know in the comment section. Is it T-Law? Uh, you know, he's going to get a nice one when he starts winning in real life. I cannot wait. You know, Joe Burrow just got one. The Hidden Dev team is just playing outside of their minds, firing on all cylinders in all three phases too. I mean, look at special teams. They're backed up all the way to 18. Kyler off his back foot gonna lob it up risky
sneaky pass. I don't know what's going on right now. Like, he has elite weapons to throw to. Keep in mind, these are X-Factor players. What is going on right now? Okay, there you go. Dumping it off. I think that's JT. Third and eight. Last chance for the X-Factors. Kyler, bottom of the screen. Waller gonna keep the chains moving. Big play. Down 14 with three timeouts. Need to score and score quickly. Great open field tackle. Five yards a pass is not gonna do much for the squad right now. They need more than that. They need bigger chunks. Kyler scrambling out the pocket. Throwing across the field. Out of bounds. What was that? That, that was just horrendous, man. What is going on? I understand the O-line is only normal, but come on. There's no excuse. The rest of your team is x factors. Like, you have easily the best supporting cast. Jesus. Finally! That's a big play, man. Keenan Allen, I believe, comes down with the catch. It was low-key a prayer, but hey, man, that's why you have elite weapons to throw to. They can make plays like that for you. Can the hidden dev team pull off the upset and head to the finals? Kyler back in the end zone. Almost intercepted again. Double, triple coverage every single time he releases the ball. I just, I don't get it. Man coverage. Somehow that one's caught. They insist to go to their first timeout. I don't know about that one. They probably should have to hurry up, but hey, man, it might pay off. Kyler, bottom of the screen. Easy, wide open catch by Darren Waller, but there's a flag. This could be coming back. Let's see what it is. Pass interference. Oh, on the defense. Okay. They dodge a bullet. It all boils down to the onside kick because they use that timeout. This is their last hope. What is that? And that wasn't even close. Did the kicker even try? Mm. Try to tell y'all not to count them out. And look at what they did. The hidden dev team. This is like if a 16 seed beats the one seed in the upcoming tournament. Okay, maybe not that far-fetched. If it was like, you know, the best X factors, then we could say that. This is like a 13 seed beating a four seed. Okay, that's what we, we can equate it to. Trevor Lawrence thoroughly outplayed Kyler Murray. JT only got nine carries. How do you give Jonathan Taylor only nine touches? That's insane. Keenan did his thing. Waddle did even better though. And of course, that defense that hidden dev defense somehow led by micah parsons jok they made it happen horn and certain yeah th this draft class has a very bright future if this video hasn't shown it yet they're gonna have a lot of studs who would have thought that the two dev traits that were able to win the super bowl would end up playing against each other in the finals of the dev trade tournament man superstars off to a nice little lead okay 16 to 0 hidden devs i need y'all to wake up 19 to 0 at least make this close come on Oh my guys why does this keep happening in the tournaments like they keep getting to the end and, and then there's a blowout like we're expecting thrillers y you get our hopes up and, and then you put on a terrible performance when it, it really matters the most what's going on now the hidden dev team no one expect them to go this far okay no one expect them to win a super bowl so honestly whatever they do from here on out is icing on the cake they're they're playing with house money okay superstars should take this entire thing however i would have liked to see a little bit more fight maybe they can still show some fight the game's not over okay maybe it 29 to 10 in the finals still a very solid performance by them in this series lawrence didn't turn the ball over again that's something he was able to do in every single game just take care of the football that's why they made it so far but herbert mixing this offense was just a little bit too high powered for them to do i mean look at this zeke is their third running back or the running back in the third most touches you have eckler on standby debo who they could have used that running back they just had too many players too many playmakers to stop and uh yeah man that's the dev trade tournament hopefully you guys did enjoy it thank you so much for watching t and thank you so much for all the donations i'm gonna be showing these at the end of every single video i appreciate you guys showing so much love man seeing your messages like this you know helps me keep on going helps me keep grinding so I, you know i greatly appreciate it hopefully you guys have a great weekend and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one nobody's safe came from heaven we fresh out the gate and i look like i came from la from new jersey i look like la i'm a water i'm from in la i'ma get it it's my for the tape ride the beam when i'm out of state could it be almost got me a case no olympic i'm winning a race now i want one cause i'm killing the game talking crazy i'm going insane shifting gears and i'm switching the lane hop on stage just going to tame going up so i'm making a name